Good morning. It is Wednesday right here in my studio. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here joining me. I am excited to show you something that I've been loving for ever since I've been crafting. And this year I was going to do an online class with this concept, but this never really happened. I decided to do something different, but I have been waiting to show you some really cute ideas for Christmas. Um, we're going to be talking about poop today. It's not my favorite word, and when my child says it, it brings a lot of laughter. Everybody, the word poop brings a laughter. And I have a nine-year-old, so if you don't have a nine-year-old, you might not think the word poop is very funny. But in my house, I mean, my 14-year-old just walks in the room, she says the word poop, and everyone starts laughing. So it brings a lot of joy. Now, um, so today my projects though are based around poop, which is not my most favorite word to say or thing to talk about, but I think you're going to like what I have to bring you. So before that gets started though, I wanna wait for everyone to join on. I've got four different projects to show you today. And they hopefully should not take too long so you don't get, you know, bored watching me. Um, but before we get started, I want to talk to you about one of my most exciting things that I'm doing in December. It is uh, different than anything that I've ever done. I love doing new, new things. Um, every December, for the last four Decembers, I have partnered with one of my very good friends, amazing demonstrator, so talented. I know most of you know her and love her. We work together a lot. Um, we just really enjoy each other's company. We have fun together and we work really well together. So, um, and she's very different stamper than I am. So we, I think we really complement each other. And that's Erica Serwin from Pink Buckaroo Designs. She and I are partnering together to bring you an amazing event during December. So it's two different classes and I designed one and she designed one. And when we were thinking about what to do, we decided to do um, the best of all of our Facebook Lives through 2018. So we both went through all of our videos. She does one every week, I do one every week, and so we went through all of them. And we did it based on the most likes we got and the most video views. So I took my five most watched and most liked videos, and she did the exact same thing. And then we designed them with new product and current product that we thought would be really fun for the month of December. So these are not Christmas projects. They are all occasion projects that you can use. And um, I featured the Twinkle Twinkle paper and the little elephant bundle. And I did that because I've loved that since the very first day it came out and I still have yet to do a class on it. So I was excited to actually finally play with it. Erica chose the first frost suite and bundle out of the holiday catalog. But again, the projects aren't Christmassy. So you can use these and make them now and use them all year long. So I wanna show you uh, mine. My most watched video ever, it has like, I don't know, 35,000 views or something, is my bag with the card hanger. So you're going to make one of those. You're gonna get the pack of paper. Um, so some of you maybe haven't watched it, um, but you're gonna be able to see um, all of these. Now here's the cool part. This is a, such a fun part. Erica and I are going to start a private Facebook group just for the people who purchased the class and the people who we have a tutorial only version and this video only version as well. So we're gonna invite everybody who bought the class with us and we're going to put you into a private Facebook group and at the end of the month, Erica and I are going to do a Facebook Live together. So Facebook, now you're able to split a screen with somebody. So she's going to demonstrate her cards and projects for you, and I'm gonna demonstrate my projects for you, and we're just gonna have fun together. It might be an hour, hour and a half long. We're gonna be chatting with you um, live, and we're going to be um, just interacting with you. So it's just something very unique and very different. So we're gonna do the online class, we're gonna mail you a packet, and then when, um, at the end of the month, it's actually on December 28th, you're gonna to get to per participate live with us together. Now if you can't watch it live, that's okay, it's always recorded, Facebook Lives are recorded, so you can watch it later. 
but I'm also going to show you how to make this one box out of one piece of paper with a lid. And of course, the little elephant is just awesome. Um, one of my other favorite cards that I was surprised was a trifold one. So you're going to learn how to make that one. Um, this was actually one of my most watched um, was the invitation. And I have different variations you can make with your, your products too. And then this one is uh, definitely was one of my favorites and I knew it was a favorite one but it's almost like a little package and then when you open it um, there is the, um, the envelope pockets inside that pull out so it's a really awesome um, card that you can make for something special this one says I'll forget you not so cute so there is the project that we're, I'm, I'm gonna show you we're gonna make together you're gonna get all the supplies to make um, so anyway, that's my most exciting thing I have coming up in December, besides today. Today we're gonna to talk about poop. Are you ready? Like I know that it's, um, again, it's, I have to make myself say that word. It's not my favorite word, but in my household, it's a very funny word. And I have, I just said a nine-year-old. And so um, when I go to his, his classroom for his Christmas party, this is something that I've taken for all the kids in their class, because they really love the word poop too. So let's, uh, who, who, who am I kidding? My husband loves the word poop. He says it as well and they all laugh. And I just sit there and they say, oh mom, you just don't have a sense of humor. So um, today we're gonna love poop too, together, right? So let me turn you down. I don't have any of them finished yet. I'm gonna finish them all with you here. And I have four different forms of poop to show you, okay? So let's start off. Um, I gotta get you here straight. And sometimes it's, that's easier said than done. Okay, I wanna make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Excellent. We're gonna be using the pizza boxes. So if you don't have any of these on hand, these are some of my most favorite things to always have on hand. It's something that I, um, here, I'm just gonna adjust you a little bit more there. It's something that I love just to always have because I can pop in gift cards in here. I've used these before on my lives. And so now we're gonna be using them with poop. Um, this is the main reason why I love them because look, there's no glue. Like, so you can, obviously, I make lots of boxes. I make lots of stuff. But sometimes when you're in a hurry, you don't have time to get your scoring tool out and all your tools. So this one, it's, it's already done for you. And it is food safe inside, so you can put a cookie in there, fudge, um, whatever you want to, it, it is food safe. And it is the perfect size for like a homemade cookie. If you wanted to make some and decorate some, it's the perfect size for that. So we're going to assemble our box. I was a little rough with it there. And then this just tucks right inside. So now look, it's a perfect size box, right? So what we are gonna put inside is some little mini marshmallows. So can you guys all guess what this one is gonna be? We're gonna start off with a simple one. Mini marshmallows are easy to figure out. And that's gonna go inside our box. This one, usually they stay right down in there. I bent it a little bit. All right, so that's gonna go inside our little box here. And we gotta do a little bit of decorating. Let's see, I have a little poem here. It says, Heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is snowman poop. So the first thing we're gonna make is snowman poop. We're gonna punch that out with a two and a quarter inch punch. And then on the top of my box, I am going to take a three and a quarter inch piece of pool party and put that on top of my box. Hold on a second. I gotta put a little bit of adhesive on this. For some reason, it is not, I can tell I've bent that. I was. There, now it should stay. Much, there you go. It doesn't, it didn't even need the adhesive. I just, there was a little piece in there that had to come out. Okay, I'm gonna put one on the inside here. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch square. And this is pool party. And then on the, we have another one we're gonna put here. All right, on the outside. Just like that. All right. Um, we're going to put our little poem on the inside that says, Heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is snowman poop. And we'll just stick that down to the inside. And of course, you guys can decorate this a little bit more if you want to. So this poop is going to be just some little mini marshmallows. Perfect little snowman poop, right? 
And then um, because there's you know so much in there, I wanna actually take a piece of ribbon and tie a bow up here off to the side. Well, not, I'm gonna, well, maybe we'll do a bow. I don't, we'll see how I'm feeling today. It might be a knot, it might be a bow. We'll see how, how things go. I don't know, we'll try a bow. I didn't cut it quite long enough. We'll see how it turns out. And maybe we'll end up just doing a knot. Well, actually, not bad, Rhonda Wade, not bad. I got a little cute bow off of that. So hopefully my fingers are gonna be working today. All right, so now we're going to our Spirited Snowman stamp set. Favorite one in the holiday catalog. If you don't get it, get it. It's not just Christmassy. As a matter of fact, there's not even a Merry Christmas in here. There's Love Never Melts. So you can use this like January, February, March, and even in Michigan, we can use it in April and half of May, to tell you the truth, because we snow, and we've started snowing already. Um, so Love Never Melts, Winter Cheer, and Your Friendship Warms My Heart. And I love that with, you know, oh, just, just so fun. Fun, fun, fun stamp set. And then, um, so if you don't have that one yet, it's in the holiday catalog, and it will end on um, January 2nd. So you gotta get it while you can. I'm just gonna, I inked that up with a memento black. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of coloring with our blends. Oh guys, the blends are the best. They're like almost, to me they're like, like magic markers. I don't know how they color so amazing. I'm sure those of you who are really super smart know how that happens. So I'm gonna do, start with the lighter color. I'm gonna go in the darker, it's pool party. Um, I'm gonna do a little orange nose. There you go. Um, this is the Poppy Parade. It's, that's been a really fun color over um, one that we brought back. It's a, just a really bright, fun red. It's, it's different than our real red. So Poppy Parade, that's the color ribbon I used. We'll put a little bit of that on there. And then I took Bermuda, oh wow, I'm throwing stuff around. Took the Bermuda Bay and I'm gonna use that on the other little things. What I love about snowmen is they are so easy to color in. That's like my favorite thing. So they're easy to color in and they don't take a lot of time. I actually colored in 50 of these yesterday. All right, and last but not least, we need a little bit of a crumb. Put our tops back on, Rhonda, right? So I, there we go, we need a little bit of muscles. And then we're gonna take and do the little um, arms. This is the dark crumb cake. And then I have somewhere on my table here, I have some red rhinestones. I'm gonna find them. They're somewhere here because we're going to, um, we're going to put some red rhinestones on his, hey, I think I found them, yippee. Hey guys, today they announced the online extravaganza. Oh no, it's, I lied. They, not, they announced the closeout sale. And the closeout sale, um, they're putting a bunch of things on sale. Um, and red rhinestones are on sale for 10% off. So you can get the red rhinestones on sale right now. You gotta go to the store and you can go to the online or the closeout sale and then look at all that's on there. there but anyway, so there we go. I probably should have waited to put those on until I punched this, because now we have to punch it. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep track of my stuff. Yeah, that was really dumb. Take those back off. Punch your snowman. Oh, and you gotta watch me do this again. That's, I'm sorry. I don't always think clearly. This is how you, when you come to Facebook Lives, you just gotta get me as I am. I'm not the most polished person in the world, but we have fun. We have a lot of fun. There we go. So there's that. Stick on some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. So we are gonna pop that up. Go back to our box. So here, that was simple. Think about how many of these that you can make for grandchildren, for friends, and you obviously could put on there, you know, some words. Today, I just wanna show you the boxes and what's inside, right? So there is that. For those of you who are just joining, because we've had about 50 of you just join. Hey, don't forget that while we're, you're watching, oh, thank you for the hearts. They mean a lot to me. Um, when, you're, when you are 
uh, watching, you can hit the share button or if you're watching it on the replay as well. And then uh, that way other people can have fun and kind of watch us make some poop too. So very simple, very pretty. A pool party and poppy parade are my color combinations. And then we open that up and it says, heard you've been naughty, so here's a scoop. All you get for Christmas is snowman poop. So very inexpensive gift. And it's all about the thought. Like people don't need a lot of stuff this time of year and they really don't need a whole lot of candy, but we get a lot of candy and all that kind of stuff. So there's my first one, ready for my next one. I already have the boxes assembled, so this is gonna go a little bit quicker. Let's go to our next one and I'll see what you, I gotta get out all my supplies. I've been trying to keep organized for you because I got a lot of supplies and I wanna make sure that I don't get too lost up here. All right, so our next one, we're gonna be using a stamp set called Cookie Cutter Christmas. This is in the annual catalog, it's still available. And there is a punch that I'm going to need that I'm gonna go grab really quick. You guys could talk amongst yourself while I had to go run away, run. Um, we need a piece of paper again, and we're gonna be using crumb cake. So we're gonna be using the reindeer. There's a reindeer, a teddy bear, a gingerbread man, a Santa. Look how much I loved this set. This is like one of my most used sets. So if you're wondering, mm, would I use that set very much? Just look, like it gets used a lot. It is so, so awesome. It's a photopolymer. So I'm gonna take my reindeer with the early espresso and we're gonna ink that up. There we go. Oh, isn't he so cute? I'm gonna take some of the blends and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, kind of put some color on him. You really don't have to because obviously he's already on crumb cake, but this just makes him even more, you know, more like a reindeer. There we go. So I'm just gonna color him in. And then his antlers, I have this color here. It's a little bit, it's the other shade. There you go. Now, now we're gonna punch him out with our cookie cutter punch. And he goes in upside down though, because he is our reindeer. So we're gonna punch out our reindeer. Let's see what's gonna go inside our box this time. We have, these are raisinets. So you can get raisinets. That's what we're using for our poop this time. And it's gonna go in our box. I'm using the uh, festive farmhouse paper, some designer series paper for this one. And that's gonna go on the top of our box. I have two other ones to show you too. So the, everything should be pretty much prepped. We're gonna make this pretty simple. Then we're going to put the same piece on the inside. They're three and a quarter by three and a quarter. These are great little stocking stuffers that you can throw in stockings. You can put a gift card in there too, so that really they don't they don't just get the snowman poop. There's or this one is reindeer poop. Let's see what we got. Let's go to our thing. Heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is reindeer poop. And what I'm gonna do guys, cause I know a lot of people are gonna ask for this file. I will, if you are on my email list, I will send out an email with um, this file and then the copy of the video. So if you're not on my email list, you can't get it. So um, there's a, always, there's a join now button on this page. You can go to my blog, rondaway.com and you can join there. Um, but that's how I'm gonna email this out later today. All right, so now we've got our reindeer poop, just like that. And um, I'm going to put an early espresso. This is obviously, I love this punch, two and a quarter inch punch. And we're going to glue, I'm gonna actually wrap a belly band around this one. So this one is going to be a belly band. And so we, I wanna make it so it just slides right off. I'm using the same paper. This is the Festive Farmhouse paper. There we go. And that's just gonna wrap around. You, some people score and do all that stuff. Um, I'm just gonna, it's a little bit long. 
All right, again, that's all gonna get covered up. So I know it wasn't straight, that's all right. No one's gonna know it wasn't straight because I'm just gonna cover that up. So I'm just gonna create a belly band that slides on and slides off. And it's in the same, the same pattern. Isn't that so nice? So nice. And then we'll put the early espresso piece on there. See, it covers that seam right up. Take our little reindeer. Oh, he's so cute. And put him or her, like you can make it a her by putting a little bow on her head, or you can make it and just leave it like a boy reindeer. So if this is for a boy or a girl, you can do either or. I like to use a little bit of Wink Stella on the antlers. I think um, every project should have a little bit of Wink Stella. I brought the Wink Stella to put on the snowman, and I like to put it on the antlers too. And then something else fun you can do, if you wanted this to be Rudolph, then you can take your little red rhinestones and you can fill in the nose. So these are tiny, cute little ones. So you can just fill in the nose and make this a Rudolph reindeer. Super cute, very fun. There we go. So now he is leading Santa's sleigh with Rudolph there. There you go. So here's this one. There's our reindeer and you slide it off, slide it off and then open it up and heard you been naughty. Here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is reindeer poop. And then you have the raisinets inside. And I, hey, you have to have these too. The three by six cello bags is what I used for all of my poop. Here we go. I used these before um, when I did that little, uh, that little snowman thing. They're three by six, they're gusseted, and you get 25 per package. So these are something I always have on hand, always. So if I wanna give you know any little, little treat gift, then I've got that. All right, so this one will slide back on. See how simple that is, but so cute and easy. All right, you ready for your next one? The next one, next one, let's see here. Let's see if you can guess what it, what it is. Um, I was so organized, I have it all. Here we go. We're gonna be using these. These are mint M&Ms. You can get them in big bulk if you wanna make a lot of these. They're actually very, very yummy. We need another pizza box. Here we go. All right, this one is super simple. Um, I'm using the Granny Apple Green, and we're going to be using a piece of the three and a quarter by three and a quarter Granny Apple Green and gluing that down to the front of our box, All right? And I am going to, oh, wait a minute. I, um, yes, and then I'm gonna be wrapping around, I wanna wrap around, um, let's finish this, here we go. Then we have a little piece of black. This is like a little half inch strip of black and that's gonna go right here. Can you guys all obviously guess what this one is, right? When I was choosing the green, I had to make a choice. If I, and here's a piece of white. It's about an inch and a half. And then I really jaggedly, and it's really jagged, just um, cut that out, right? So it creates the little bit of like the uh, fuzz on like a collar. So there is that. These are three and a quarter. Now to make a belt, oh boy. Oh, here it is. Look, my little piece. To make a belt, you need a little one inch square. This is the galvanized steel paper. Actually, I like to use a dimensional on this because um, a belt buckle does kind of stick out. So you're going to take that and put that on the middle of the buckle. And then you're going to put that there like that. All right, so can you guys guess what that is, right? It's an easy one. See how easy that, I told you these are gonna be quick and easy. Heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is elf poop. You could obviously make the Grinch too, so you can do it as the Grinch as well if you want to. This little strip off to three and a quarter. Just to have a little bit of decoration back there. I didn't cut my other square, but I'll just stick this back here like that. And then this will go on the inside. This one's real simple, but so cute. 
Every, everyone loves Elf's. Have, my favorite movie is Elf. Have you guys seen with Buddy? Have you watched it yet? I always like to watch it um, at the start of the Christmas season because it puts me in my favorite mood. And it's, you know, smiling, love smiling, or I really love the South Pole Elf. That's my favorite, epi that's my favorite scene. What's your guys' favorite scene in Elf? I bet you all of you could quote a lot of it. It's, I love it. Okay, so there you go. There's your little elf box. See, oh, I love, I'm gonna ask you guys what, what your favorite one is, but you can't vote until the very, very end. And then when you open it up, here we go. Heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is elf poop. So there's our little elf poop. And see, so it, these are not gross poops. These are really cute poops. Okay, I got one more poop to show you. I'm sure you guys are thinking, oh, what are all these other kind of poops that I could use? So here is our pizza box. Um, and I gotta make sure I've got all of the things that I need. This is another really quick and simple one. Here we go, let me grab the things I need for it. Okay. So inside, let's see if you can guess, we have those uh, spice drops or, you know, gumball drops or spice. These are, I always think spice drops. I filled this one a little full. It's got a lot of little spice drops in there. Okay. So on the outside, this one, I took a three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of red. And then this is the dashing paper. The dashing paper is not in the catalog. It was like a specialty paper. Now you can actually buy it for $11. And so it has this, if you want it, it's on the, um, the Stampin' Up! website or you can email me and I can help you get it. And then I'm going to um, then glue down this to the front of the top, all right? And then let's see, so what are we doing? Um, heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is gingerbread man poop. Yep, you got it, gingerbread man. For those of you who guessed that, you got it. So um, on the inside, we're going to glue down the matching piece. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, just so our little lid, when they open it up, it's really cute. We got our gingerbread man poop on the inside, like that. All right, our outside is ready for our gingerbread man. I actually already um, stamped him, and then we're going to punch him out he comes in that cookie cutter Christmas. There's also a Santa that comes in there that's really cute. There we go. And you get a little bit of confetti there. They actually have like a little bow that so you can make it a little bow on him too. All right, so he's gonna go on the front. I did want to put a, um, yep, I have a couple, here we go. I knew I had a two inch garden green circle and a starburst circle in garden green. I know it seems goofy around they're the same color, but I'm telling you, I love when you do color on color and then you just layer. So I'm gonna, I did the starburst. You know, this is my favorite um, punch combination and it's color on color. Again, not the normal, but I love it. It's very, um, I don't know, I just like it. And then there is, put him down. I made this one very Christmassy because um, this is a Christmas gift. Now, gingerbread guys don't have to be just Christmassy. All right, so now you have this one you decide is, I'm gonna do another belly band on this. I can wrap ribbon around, but I'm gonna do another belly band. So I'm gonna cut um, an inch, just about an inch off of this paper. Uh, looks like I did about an inch and a half, actually. And then I'm gonna wrap this one around. I like that look. You could have wrapped around a ribbon. You can do it either way, but paper is actually really inexpensive. So you can do it with this paper. And then put our adhesive here. I don't glue it down to the box because remember, we just wanna be able to slip it off. This one I filled really full. So we definitely need a belly band to hold it, to hold it shut. And then we take our little gingerbread man. There you go. And I put the dimensionals here, so I make sure I keep it on the band. Oh, it's so cute, so cute. All right, so last but not least, let's make sure I got everything I need. Um, we got to decorate him. Oh, see, I should have used my magic box. I have a little garden green bow, because he just looks a little boring, right? We gotta, we gotta dress him up a little bit. A garden green baker's twine. That's also on the clearance rack, by the way, for super cheap. 
And then I want to use, look at my red rhinestones again. I'm giving you lots of reasons to use red rhinestones. Red rhinestones are great for Christmas, obviously, but Valentine's Day is coming up in the season of love. And so you're gonna want them for that. So now I'm just gonna put his buttons on with red rhinestones. All right, so let's get them all out and see if you guys wanna, I'm gonna take a vote, which one's your favorite? We have our, in case you're just tuning in, I'll have to do this one. So we have our gingerbread man. And then inside we have, heard you've been naughty. So here's the scoop. All you get for Christmas is gingerbread man poop. <laughs> These are so funny. See, they make me laugh just even, um, and then the little spice drops. So they make me laugh just even doing them. So this, that's the point. We just wanna have fun, right? We're gonna have fun talking about poop. All right, so there is this one our gingerbread man poop. We have our elf poop. We have our reindeer poop. Let's see. Our reindeer poop. And then our last but not least is our snowman poop. And I undid that bow. So now I'm just going to tie a knot because there's no way I'm going to get that bow back looking good again. So I'm just going to do a knot. I did a good job the first time around for those of you who watched the video at the beginning. So right now we're just going to do that. Okay, so vote on your favorite one. I love to see and hear from you what you think you like the best. And I'll bring you back up here. You see my shirt? My shirt says, baby, it's cold outside. It is freezing here in Michigan. I cannot stop wearing like all those really thick boots. And um, But for those of you who are just joining in, thank you. Thank you for being here. I hope you had fun with me um, making our pizza boxes. Um, they are, you get like, they're really and it, very inexpensive. They're easy, they're just good things to have on hand. Those little cello bags. And then you can just fill them up with all different, I'm sure you could even come up with some more poop if you really put your, your mind to it. At the store today, I was looking at different ones and thinking, wow, there's lots of different ways to, to use it. So um, those are just some really fun projects. Again, if you want the file to be able to just print them up, uh, it, I will email it out to my email list. So you have to be on my email list. I will post the link as well to join my email list. Um, so that way you, I will email it to you. And then you also will know whenever I do any other classes because I do lots of online classes. Um, don't forget about the one I have coming up where I'm partnering with Erica Sirwin and we're doing our best of 2018. Um, all of our favorite the, your guys's most viewed and most loved videos. And it just so happened you picked some of my absolute favorites too. So it was fun to be able to recreate those with some new awesome product. You guys have a wonderful day. I will be here next Wednesday with you. And I'm looking forward to something else. I don't know. I picked these, these projects up literally on my way. On my way to work today, I stopped and got candy. And um, these are things I have on hand. I always have the pizza boxes and I always have my three by six, my three by six bags. Those are some staples in my stamp room that whenever I need a quick gift or a quick something, that's what I run to. So, oh, I, there's lots of, most of you are liking the elf, it looks like that, but, um, so I'm gonna go and try to, and I will read all your comments. You know we love your comments. We always do a prize patrol based on those. So, and when you share, if you share this video, if you loved it, remember sharing is caring. That means that you're gonna allow other people to see what they can do with poop and make poop a funny thing and a fun thing over the holidays. So, have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.